late 2008, I was struggling. Um, I'd had success as a junior, which came late as well. Um, and yeah, it was difficult, but at the end of the day, I'm doing it because I, I really enjoy the sport. And, and uh, the day I stop enjoying it will be the day I, I sort of end it as such. Um, but until then, you know, I love competing and I love taking part in Team Pursuit. Um, I've got some of my best mates involved in the events as well, so it's, it's great. It's, it's really inspiring, you know, I watched the, the lads in Beijing where they obviously gained a lot of their success and did so fantastic out there, you know, watching Chris Hoy win three gold medals out there was, was inspiring. And um, yeah, you know, we're in, we're in one of the best teams, it's probably the most difficult team to... It's almost harder to get selected for Team GB than it is um, competing and the pressure, you know, the, from, from all the other guys, you know, we've got fantastic riders that haven't made it to the Olympics that could quite easily be in other teams um, at the Team Pursuit and be one of their best riders. So. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's massive, the competition, you know, there's five riders um, with the Olympic format, there's a good chance of all five of us riding. Um, but to try and get into this team, you know, we're probably the, one of the world's best teams, you know, world record holders. We won the world championships in April. Um, but if you tried to get in a, a lot of other teams, you'd be one of their best riders. And uh, the upward pressure from a lot of riders that aren't even at the games, you know, we've got fantastic riders. If you put another team pursuit team in, they'd be, they'd be pretty much up there. Um, so yeah, it's one of the most difficult teams to get into. No one comes to the Olympics to, to get fourth or fifth. You know, we're going for gold at the end of the day. If we don't achieve it, we don't achieve it, but we're going to try our best. And that's what we really want to win. Um, whether we'll do it, you know, depends on how fast the other teams go, unfortunately. Um, but at the end of the day, all we can do is try our best and no one wants to win it more than us. At the end of the day, it's no different to any other competition that we do. It's the same people competing against. You know, the World Championships, we race against the Australians. They've virtually got the same team here. Um, you know, I've done, I've done three world championships. At the end of the day, it's a different title on the same bike race. Um, it's something that we do every day. It's our job and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to go out there, give our best and that's it, simple as. I think the Cavs performance has been played down a lot in the press, you know, um, with people not really understanding it as such. Um, they did a fantastic performance um, and all credit to the guys. They worked their heart out for Cav and I think if Cav had been in that position, he would have won that bike race. But unfortunately, there was you know, 150 other bike riders who didn't want to take Cav to that finish because they know he'd have won. Uh, I've got a holiday booked. Uh, what else have I got? That's about it. Hopefully go V Festival. Yeah, a few carrots in place. So, uh, yeah, we'll get there and, you know, live life like a normal person for a few weeks and then I'll start cycling again and, and yeah, kickstart all and then I'll probably compete in the Track World Cup in Glasgow.